What's up, weirdlings? It's time for another classic cocktail. This one is the Corpse Survivor number two. Yes, there are multiple Corpse Survivors. The number two was one of the versions that ended up in the Savoy book, and it has continued until today. And here's how you make a Corpse Survivor number two. That's four. Two. We're gonna start off with some gin, three quarter ounce of a London dry gin. Boop. Next, I'm gonna throw some Contro. If you have another orange liqueur, you can use an orange liqueur as well. Just basically just an orange liqueur. The Contro is a classic way to do it. Three quarter ounce of Contro. I'm gonna go with three quarter ounce of a Lilit Blanc. You can also use a Kochi Americano. The actual old school traditional way to do this was with Kochi. Now that it is back on the market, you can totally grab that if you want. Three quarter ounce. Next, we're gonna put a little citrus in there. We're gonna do three quarter ounce of lemon juice. Do you sense a trend? All of this is going to go in some ice. We are going to shake it up until it is well chilled. Next thing for me is I am going to spritz the inside of a coupe with some absinthe. If you don't have an atomizer, but you do have absinthe, you can put some of it in there when you mix it up, that's fine. Just a couple of dashes, does not take a lot. Since I do have the atomizer, I'm just gonna spray it on there because I think that's super cool. Then we're just gonna double strain this. And you have yourselves a Corpse Survivor. Number two. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I really like that a lot. I actually might, you know what, hold on. A little extra absinthe. There's a reason this one has lasted over the years as the Corpse Survivor number two and all the other ones are like, what? Huh? Huh? So that's it. Quick and simple Corpse Survivor number two. You should totally try this one out if you want to get deeper into your classic cocktail knowledge. Really easy to make. You should totally check it out. If you like this recipe, you want to see more recipes for classic cocktails or even ones that we've made up on our own, click right over there and you can see a bunch of videos. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and don't forget, once a month, This Doesn't Suck Test Kitchen live on Twitch where we make cocktails from scratch with your input and our input and we taste stuff and it's a lot of fun. Make sure you show up for that. Until next time though, it's time to revive a corpse. It sounds dark.